Land. It is time for Memphis versus Navy. Big showdown. Uh, obviously, uh, for us, the stakes are high, much higher than I guess it would normally be when you're playing a 5-6 and six team because we are trying to get into the college football playoff as, as kind of a um, <clears throat> an outsider, right? We're trying to sneak our way in as a group of five uh, conference team, not one of the uh, what, what you want to, the Power Five conferences, uh, which means um, we have a very small margin of error, right? Much smaller margin of error than than the top teams in the Power Five conferences. You might be able to play in the SEC and win the league and still lose a game and get in. For us. That is not an option. We can't lose a game and still make it into the to the uh, college football playoff. We have to go undefeated. A loss in this game would really end any hope of that. Now, um, obviously, you know, we, we would still be have a chance to play for the American Conference Championship, and that would be a big accomplishment for Memphis. It's It's not anything to kind of, whatever, turn your nose up at. But when you get this close, uh, you want to you want to finish the deal, finish the job, and get in. So hopefully, we're able to do that today against Navy. Navy is kind of a dangerous team. They're the kind of team that can you know sneak up on you. Um, they're not a pushover. Right? They play style. They have a style of play that could you know cause problems for us. We I talked about that in the last episode uh, in the. Uh, week 14 update episode and so hopefully we can get this thing down here we're going to start with shallow cross uh see if we can't start our drive down the field and there adair throws a little too low and watkins doesn't really look like he knows what he's doing and so we lose a yard not a great start here he has to come back to get it then he starts to turn up field. Then he's like, no, I want to go back this way. It looks like he can't figure out which way he's supposed to be going. So that's not a great way to start. All right, so let's go mesh next. Um, playing. Let's see if they've got. Yeah, okay. So we're running mesh out of the uh, late formation. Dare throws it on the crossing route to. Who is that? 14. Is that Tate? No, Tate's 87. Who's 14? Oh, that's Jones. Personal foul. And we have a roughing the passer. So that will get us the first down. We'll take that. Would have been what? Would have been third and four. So <clears throat> adds nine yards, I guess. So Watkins kind of gets bailed out there by a uh, Navy penalty. So out of ace, we're going to run Y cross. See if we can't get the ball. We want to get the ball to Calvin Austin. But instead, we throw it to Watkins. This time, Watkins know which, knows which way to go. So he picks up eight yards on that, on that reception. That'll make it second and two. And tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go I'm gonna, out of, out of uh, blue. I'm going to call the sale concept. Right, Dare takes the snap. Navy can't get any pressure, and he's going long. That's not, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. He threw it right to a waiting safety. So we have an interception on the first drive of the game. Not a great start. That means Navy now is going to get the ball with a lot of field to go. And so we need to get a quick, we need to get that ball back quickly. All right, and we do. Navy does not uh, end up keeping the ball for very long. We've got it at our own 37. We're going to go wide shallow again. Really just, again, we're trying to get that ball to Calvin Austin. We want to get him his first catch. If we don't get this, maybe we'll go wide stick here. Looks like he was open. Yeah, we get him the ball. Oh, and he drops it. He drops it. Nope, another roughing the passer penalty. I might need to adjust that slider. I'm going to probably adjust that slider later. 
All right, so here we go. Uh, first and ten in Navy territory. Let's go Y corner this time. Let's see if we can't get Calvin running that corner route. There, there it is. And oh, he drops it again. That's two drops for for Austin. It's hard to be too harsh on him there. He had to try to lay out to get that. Let's go Y stick. You go wine stick. Tell you what, Navy's put five in the back or in the box. Let's run it. See if we can't maybe steal a first down here. Watkins gets about eight yards. Third down and two. All right, let's run mesh. All right, we're in our early formation. Jones in motion. Dare drops back. Oh, he's going long. And another drop. Come on. Ah, fourth down. Fourth down. Let's see what the coach does. He's going to punt. Nice. Oh, we looks like we got a turnover. We've got the ball at Navy's 15. Let's just go right to the end zone. Let's go right to the end zone. We're going to we're calling Y cross. Gonna try to get it to Austin. And he gets it and touchdown. First score of the game to touch a 15 yard touchdown pass to Calvin Austin. We wanted to go right away. Looks like he got he had a step on his man. Adair throws a perfect pass and we score. So it's 7-0. Oh, but Navy answers. Navy answers. It's 7-7. Seven, seven. We're at our own 20 now. <clears throat> Navy, 91 yards to our 38. It's not great, but the score is what really matters. Dare drops back on the four verts. And another drop. How many? We've got like three drops already. Oh, but they were off sides. So that'll uh, negate that play. Right, we're gonna run smash as we're right here in the middle of the field, first and five. Why not? <clears throat> run the smash concept, and we hit the hitch to that's Jones, and he breaks a tackle. He is into Navy territory, breaks another tackle. Now we're in the red zone. We're well close to red zone, about to 26. Jones, Jones, I have him pegged. He's a little too slow to play on the outside in the future. He actually fit, is filling in right now for a guy who got injured. Uh, my Z receiver was injured, so Jones took his spot. Um, I see him in the future as an inside receiver, maybe maybe as the Y, depending on how well he develops overall. Um, either way, he's got a place on the team next year. He, he's He's tough to bring down. And I definitely like that about him. I want to run a screen. I haven't run a screen in a while. So we're going to run bubble screen to the H. Yeah, I don't like how Navy's lined up, but we're going to run it. We're going to run it and see what happens. Oh, my word, Connor Adair. The weather, as you, can, you might be able to see it, the weather, like, there's no rain right now, but you can tell it's not great. It is not great. All right, so we're going to go Y shallow here out of dart. And I think this is actually, this is actually going to work out for us if he can. Now I can't get away from his man. So a dare there. Oh, he finds the dig route. That's Tate. Tate breaks a tackle. He gets into the end zone, but there's a flag. Pass interference on somebody. Who is it? It was on us. Offensive pass interference. So we lose 10 yards. Takes away the touchdown. How far back? So that puts us at the 37. That's not good. First down play. I'm going to run wheel. Try to make something happen. Doggone it. My controller is kind of messing up. 
I hear you go on the wheel, going long in the first play, and he threw it right to a Navy player who can't make the catch. So now it's third and 20. I really just want to get some yards back, get into field goal range. Again, I just, I, right now, I'm trying to score. I get points. Don't want to be too greedy. There, here he's in a little trouble, and he's sacked. That's that's a worst case. He rolled right into the pressure. If he'd have just sat in the pocket, he probably would have been alright, but he rolls over to the pressure and gets sacked. Uh, okay, end of the first quarter, 7-7, seven, seven, tie game. There was the pick, the interception, and then there's the touchdown pass to Calvin Austin. Uh, it's an intense game, intense game so far. All right, so Navy not able to do anything with it, so we get the ball back. I'm going to start with Y cross here. That was our touchdown call, so hey, maybe something will work out this time. Deer drops back out of the backfield. He finds Watkins, slips a tackle, and picks up five. So second down and five. I'm going to go, this would actually be, I guess, Z. Stop on it. Having room controller issues. I don't know what the deal is, but it's like it's kind of stuck. All right, so going stick here. Dare drops back, and he finds the stick. That's Jones. Jones <laughs> gets 14 out of that. 14. Now we're about where we were when things went bad last drive. I'm going to run a middle screen here. See if we can't... Uh, Steal some yards. Dare drops back. And there it is to Jones again. Jones right now is my guy. He slips a tackle. He picks up 15. Jones is having a game. 84 yards. Not even at halftime yet. Okay, 84 of Adair's 111 yards. That's because we've had drops. Alright, let's go. For some reason, uh, Austin is in the H. So I'm going to call H shallow. We're out of ace here. Ace formation, H shallow. And we got to go to the running back, Martin, who picks up 14 to get us down inside the 10. Um, tell you what, let's... Um, I don't know. Let me see what I want to do. Yeah. I'm gonna go to Jones again. I'm gonna call. He's he's been right now. He's my guy, and I'm just trying to I'm trying to win. Trying to be trying to get to the playoff. Uh, well, I don't like this at all. I wanted to throw a screen to my Z, but the corner is lined up right on him. I don't want to throw a 90 something yard pick six, so I'm just gonna call a run. Oh no! Something got stuck, and he called the wrong thing. My stupid remote. I am really getting frustrated at it. You might hear a big smash, and it's me throwing my remote. All right, so I'll tell you what, we're gonna leave the tight end out there. We're gonna call a Y corner. See if we can't get it to Daniel in the corner. If not, look at the slant. Uh, Z will run a slant under Y, and we're just gonna toss it out to the back, and he's not gonna get much. Third down at five. We can actually still get a first down. Let's see. What am I going to do? Right, let's call blue. You know what? Let's just call mesh. We're just going to call mesh. Blue is my two back set with the uh, Z motion or, uh, set up across the left side. And he, he sets up short of the goal line. Even if he'd have caught that, he never was going to get to the end zone. So, uh, I always watch the field goals. I don't know why. I guess I just don't trust the Super Sim field goal. I still miss it. I still he might, I still watch him miss a lot of kicks, but we'll see what he does here. Kick is up, and it's good. So, we're up 10-7. 
hate to get down to the five yard line and not get a touchdown, but uh, that is what happened. All right, Navy unable to score again. So, I tell you what I've not ran is X shallow. So we're going to run Ace. We're going to run X shallow. And tell you what, I'm going to run it. I'm going to run it. Five in the box. I've only called two runs out of like 20. And Watkins, not much there. Four yards. Not bad. Solid game. Call eight shallow again. Takes the snap. And, oh, it looks like he was trying to throw the dig to Austin, but it, Navy was there. Uh, third down and six. Third and six. All right, so I'm going to run the sale concept out of dark. I uh, probably should run it, but I'm going to throw it. I'm going to throw it. Adair hits the man out of the backfield, but he's going to be short. Watkins only gets four. That makes it fourth and two. All right. Um, yeah. Hmm. So Navy not able to do anything with it. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to run. No. Stop it. See, if, I, I'm trying to I'm trying to audible to my run play. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> like my controller is like magically pushing buttons on its own. I'm, I'm, I don't know if, if you guys have that issue. That'd be really a nightmare if you, if I was playing the game like normal, but I'm I just do coach mode, so it doesn't really affect me too much. Just what I'm trying to call a freaking hot route or audible. Right, so near midfield, second and four. This is going to be, this is kind of where I have to think about the clock. Um, Austin makes the catch there. He does not get the first. He's a yard short. So I got to think about the clock. If I don't, if I don't, I don't want to leave them much time, but then I also want to have, make sure that I have enough time to do what I need to do. So it's a tricky little game I'm playing here. They've got five in the box, so third and one just gonna hand it off i was i was just gonna do a kind of a motion run oh and adair doesn't get there come on man i said adair watkins ah fourth and inches and the coach the coach is a chicken and decides to punt ah all right okay so we're at maybe luckily well i say luckily they fortunately our defense holds so of course, I'm going four verticals, and I'm going to tell Watkins to block. What the? Oh, my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> to make sure that I'm going deep here. 11 seconds left. Dare chucking it deep, and he throws another pick. Throws another pick, but three seconds left. <laughs> I mean, don't lose much. Dare second pick, though. That's his first game with two interceptions, I think. I th well, no, no, I take that back. There was one other um, SMU, maybe. Mississippi State, maybe. All right, so second half now. Here we are. Navy got the ball first. They did not score. So we, uh, we have the ball uh, up 10 to 7. To start the half, trying to stay undefeated. Navy is giving us a game. They are making us sweat it out. And there's a throw to Watkins out of the backfield. I'm going uh, to throw a screen. And we're going to go to X. Not really gotten X enough balls today. So let's see if we can't get him one and let him do something with it. Not much there, but we have a flag. 
And roughing the passer, so that helps. Alright, now we're going to run Hitch Seam. I think we call it 60. I have Ace here. Uh, I'm not crazy about the setup, but one of the hitches should be up. Oh, he's going. Oh, there. Yeah, there we go. Tate with a reception. And we have a flag. Please tell us it's another roughing or something. Yeah, okay. I was afraid uh, there was going to be another offensive pass interference. All right, so first and goal, I'm going to go early. We're going Y corner. See if we can't get the ball to Y. Who's 85? That's supposed to be Austin. But that's okay because Austin's running the slant. He makes the catch. That's his second touchdown. And we get a little breathing room. All right, so that puts us up two scores now on Navy. It's 17 to, or 16 to 7. Hopefully the extra point will make it 17. Uh, I'm going to send the play. Yeah, so then we're going to uh, skip it on the field. Oh, Navy must have had a turnover. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you know what? Let's do. Let's pick uh, green. Pick green, and I think I've got a smash that's kind of a. Yeah, let's go corner threat. <clears throat> This is uh, kind of a longer developing concept. It's it's really a smash. And so we go to the hitch. And Tate breaks a tackle. Gets the first down. So we're down to the 15 now. I'm going to run the screen. Let's run a bubble screen. Jones has not gotten a ball in a while. After tearing it up early. Let's try to get it back to him. Let him make something happen here. And we get in the ball. Now they converge on him. <laughs> and he tries to cut it back in. He's not super fast. If he was faster, I felt like he would have taken that ball out and maybe made something happen, but wasn't meant to be. Um, so let's see what I want to do. Let's do it. Let's do the sale concept out of dart. It's probably not a great idea because that go route by the z is not going to get much accomplished take the snap looks fires oh look at that on that route uh coming across he finds tate for a touchdown that's his third touchdown memphis said just like that at halftime it was nervous times only 10 to 7 but we come out first couple drives in the third quarter and we have now put navy three scores back well, assuming we make that extra point, which we did. Navy comes down and gets a field goal, so they're they're now two scores out. They're not; it's not over for them. They're still. Uh, and look at that; they actually have gained more yards than us. They've given us a short field a couple of times. Try to decide here: do I want to want to keep throwing, or do I want to shorten the game? Uh, I, I feel like every time in when I played in CAA that I try to shorten the game, especially when I'm the offensive coordinator, that all that ends up happening is they easily score, and I ruin everything. So uh, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep playing as if it's nothing, nothing. So there's a nine-yard run there by Watkins, calling four verts here on second and one. I feel pretty strongly. I can, ooh, but Adair is gonna take off and get his self sacked. Oh, that's like the one thing that I needed to not happen. But Adair is a moron. Just took off. I really, uh, just I just I really hate when they do that. So now we got third and three. Um, I'm gonna call the mesh motion play here. It's called cross curl, but it's really more of a mesh. Uh, it's a special play. It's a motion play. Let's see if we can't make something happen here. He throws it on the wheel route there to a uh, Martin. Oh. Asa with a big gain, 28 yards. And that puts us at 6,000 yards on the season, which is a good accomplishment. 
There you see a dare. Nice throw. Just le he leads him perfectly. Ace catches it. There we go. All right, now I'm going to go long. I'm calling it staying at a green, but we're, we're, this is kind of a version of all verticals. The only difference is a dare kind of runs, or sorry, a dare. I keep saying a dare. Austin kind of runs a post, but still, it's a, everybody can kind of go. And there's Tate. Good throw to Tate. Oh, Tate almost got past that. That put, or got out of that tackle. That puts a dare over 250 on the day. All right. Uh, I'm going to run a screen out of triangle. And it looks like it's set up pretty good for 88. Who is that? Moss? He's one of my backup receivers. Makes the catch. Slips a couple tackles. Uh, he worked hard. Oh, that's that's a tight head. Daniel somehow got out there. He, uh, he earned that six yards. Tell you what. Let's leave him out there. Let's run, uh, we'll run stick. We'll run stick. Don't want to get greedy. Don't get greedy. I'm going to run stick. Uh, hmm. Hmm. No, that's probably not a great running situation. So, we're going to let a dare throw. Well, a dare is going to try to run. And he gets sacked. So, we go 30-10. I'm not going to, I'm going to let the clock roll down here. Um, two touchdown lead. Let's get to the fourth quarter. Maybe let ever uh, maybe let our receivers catch a breath, and then see if we can finish this drive. Even if we don't score a touchdown, hopefully a field goal would make it 27-10. That's gonna three score lead is gonna be really hard for an option offense to uh, make that up in one quarter. Obviously, in NCAA, they're gonna abandon the option part of their offense and just start chucking it. Let's see. I'm going to run smash out of ace. Please don't get sacked, Connor. Please don't get sacked. Oh, nice throw. He snuck it in there to Tate, even though the, the guy who was running the hitch underneath Tate uh, decided to take off. Um, and brought his defender to Tate. So they are now 271 yards. Here we go. We're going to run wide corner. See if we can't get another touchdown. And there's, the, there's Tate again. Running that little zig route. 10 yards. So we are inside the five. Let's, uh, let's go. Let's go green. And let's give the ball to. That should be. Yeah, I guess I guess it's Martin. Watkins is getting a blow. Here goes Martin up the middle, touchdown Memphis. That'll do it, folks. That is gonna be all she wrote. Navy's got to score three touchdowns in one quarter, and 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 keep our potent offense off the board. Navy. Couldn't do anything there. Uh, tell you what, I'm going to go for... Let's see, where is wheel? Wheel. I've got a play-action wheel. Yeah, here we go. Out of blue. Our two-back set to the with a third, with a third receiver to the left. And I think he dropped that. Yeah another drop too many drops today too many drops today that's right i was trying to get greedy nothing else hey loosen up the defense haven't run y cross in a while so we'll call that oh five in the box let's run it let's see if we i mean he's got two linebackers but my yeah my guards got out so that's good they picked the linebackers up and martin gets 14 yards on the run for the first down All right now I'm gonna call screen out to Jones 
and his defender is backed off. So this could be a good situation, especially if that left outside linebacker blitzes, but he doesn't. Martin, nice little catch, gain five yards. Yeah, he's not done much since he got to 84. I think that was his first catch since like the second, early in the second quarter. Let's run H stick. Right, Adair takes the snap. Sat in the pocket, and then he threw a bad pass, though. Try to get it out to the running back. So, that makes it third and five. Gonna run. Gonna run bash. There, takes a snap. And throws it. Complete to Tate. That's not gonna be enough. Oh, but we got a roughing the passer. So here we go. Let's uh, let's run H cross. See if we can get the ball to Calvin. Calvin's had a relatively quiet day today, although he does have. I think he's got two touchdowns. Oh, look at the fade to who is that? Oh, that was Taj. Taj, for some reason, who's my normally my ex, is sitting at the Z position. Makes a big catch there, though. Gets us inside the five again. As Navy, the wheels have come off. Not been the second half that Navy wanted. So we're going to run. It's kind of a smash slash Z corner. Dare drops back, throws the slant, and he's got Price for the touchdown. That's Adair's fourth of the game. And that'll really kind of seal things up. This game was at one point 10 to 7. It's 10 to 7 at halftime. So we scored four touchdowns here in the second half. Navy, meanwhile, has only been able to muster a field goal. As this has been all Memphis. Again, Navy unable to score. Looks like we're sending in the backups. Which is fair enough, right? So, let's see if Parrish can uh, actually throw the ball today. And he does. He gets the ball to our backup tight end. Who is that? Cameron Wilson for a five-yard catch. So, we go to second and five. Next, we're going to call for the screen. The middle screen, jailbreak, jailbreak screen, whatever you want to call it. Parrish drops back. It's the man. Does not get much. Makes a couple tackles, though. Got three yards. So, we have it third down and two now. So, we're going to run mesh. Mesh out of dart. Parrish drops back. Yeah, I feel like he threw it. He threw it to his right. I think there was a guy on the left that was open. I think the other cross, the mother mesh was open. All right, Navy scores there, probably against our backups. Uh, and they did not get the onside kick. So, nah, 78 seconds left. See, now it's doing this every freaking time. Okay, the handoff to. Uh, Clark for a seven yard gain. Alright, and calling stick. Yeah, we're going to leave it at stick. Parish out. Oh, well, <laughs> that was just a poor effort by everyone involved. So let's stay in early, and we're going to call the mesh out of the motion. The motion. No, let's call Y shallow. Motion play. Uh, tell you what, let's run it. I like the five in the box look here. See if we can't uh, 
grind this out on the draw, and I don't know why. Well, he... <laughs> Clark, for some reason, he didn't attack the hole. He was just started drifting left. That was dumb. Now I am going to call the motion wide shallow. No, I'm not going to just let the clock run out. We're going to go try and score again. Parish. Ooh, bad throw there. It's my second team. We're going to try and let them have some reps, get some snaps, and we're going to run our offense. We're not going to we're not just going to pack it in. All right, calling Y corner here. Like, uh, next play, I'm just going to, right now, I'm going to say I'm going to run sail, assuming we don't score. And gets the ball into the flat to Cameron Fleming for six yards. And so we're going to run. Doggone it. Oh, my goodness. This is just driving me. Doggone it. Uh, <sighs> my my remote is just it's absolutely killing me. Normally I, I, I don't I don't, don't want to go into the whole explanation. I I so I don't flip the formation. I I flip it at the line of scrimmage. I don't like flipping formations, but blue you can't the default blue has that slot receiver to the right. I want him to the left. That's how it is in the air raid offense in real life. But you know what? My controller is fighting me right now. So I'm going to just, fl I flipped it in the play call screen. And then Parrish takes off and run instead of throwing like he was actually going to score. But that's okay. So that's the game. 38-17. Uh, big win. Um, not the prettiest win, I'd say, uh, offensively. Right? We, got, we only got a little over 400 yards. Um, but you know, wins a win and we, uh, today was all about getting the win. It was not about stats. <laughs> so we got it done. That puts us at 12 and 0, uh, eight and 0 in the American conference. That means we're going to the American, American conference championship game. We'll find out who we play as we kind of look at the highlights here. Um, yeah, it was one that at halftime, uh, it really, <laughs> It could have still could have gone either way, but uh, defense played well the whole game. I guess you got to say. Obviously, we didn't watch the defense, but they only gave up, you know, seven in the first half and only ten in the second. We'll take that. If they do that every game, we're gonna win most of the time. Well, we're gonna win every time. We're gonna score more than seventeen. So um, big win, yeah. Let me get through these, and we'll look at the game stats here. And total offense, we only had gained them by 50. Uh, they had 170 yards rushing. That is below their average, though. But look at their passing. That's like almost as well. It is it's twice, more than twice their uh, typical output. Um, we only had 57 yards rushing, but we only ran it 13 times. Uh, or, man, we didn't have very many plays, only 59 today. We knew that was going to happen, though. We knew they were going to try to eat the clock. Um, we both had two turnovers. Right? Both of our turnovers, though, were kind of... Uh, they were both deep into Navy territory, so it wasn't like we put our defense in a bad spot. Navy did, though. Both of their turnover, turnovers were bad. I think we scored touchdowns on both. Uh, you look at our time of possession. We still we controlled, We still had more time of possession, but it's closer than it usually was. Uh, and that's because they were running the ball and running it relatively effectively. Third down conversions, we were a little better. Um, so, yeah, we'll take it. Looking at real quick at the player stats, Adair, 70%, you know, the two picks, not great, but overall he did all right, 330 yards, four touchdowns, we'll take that. He did get sacked three times. Um, Watkins, only 27 yards, that's not much, but he didn't get many carries. Tate and Jones were the leading receivers, although Austin did catch two touchdown passes. We needed more yards out of him. He had some dry, yeah, three drops, right, three drops. He's our best receiver. He's got to do better than that. Um, blocking, yeah, the three guys that gave up sacks. So, um, all right, so that's the game. Big win over Navy. We're still undefeated. Still have a shot at the 
uh, college football playoff. Make sure you tune in next episode when we look ahead. I'll be in conference championship week. Uh, you don't want to miss that, and don't want to definitely don't want to miss the American Conference Championship game. This is Ball Force One. I'll see you guys next time.